All right. Now let's keep clearing the bottom, and then I'll head over to the top. Wow. A lot of empty platforms. This is a pretty big gym. Oh, no, that wasn't a force battle. Well, let's make it a force battle. I have a riddle for you. Well, I have a riddler for you. Do you know what is distant but close? Distant but close. Relatives? <laughs> I don't know. Simisir, all right. Let's see how well your Simisair handles Calypso! Lick was not expecting that. That was probably the last move I would have expected him to use. Flame Burst, not gonna do much. Have a Bubble Beam. Ooh, because Zura was owned by N, it's going to level faster. <gasps> He's going to send in a Nuzleaf. See, it's a good thing we didn't have a Nuzleaf on our team. Otherwise, we'd have to do a showdown face-to-face. -face. All right, let's go with Ursa. Turns. It's our strongest attack. 152 power. Can't beat that. Down the Nuzleaf goes. Hydra's leveling up nicely. The distance between winning and coming close to winning is near but not... That's what it was? Some distance close. Talking about Clay, who is near here, but is rather reserved. Wait, uh... Oh, he's distant as in his personality. Oh, such a troll. That's cute. More than you just killed. I don't even remember. That that the riddle thing, if you want to call it a riddle, was just mind numbing. Turning on all the lights. Wow, this guy has an aggro range. Because <laughs> you work hard doesn't mean you're gonna get what you want. If you don't work hard, there are many things you can't do. Okay. Challenge by Worker Neil. Sent out an Espion. All right. Unfortunately, Riddler can't really fight one-on-one -on -one against an Espion very well. Although I do resist its attacks, and I should have more power than it. And actually, I have Return, which will do significant damage to Espeon. So it should be 101 pa 102 power on him. There we go. Now we have a way of killing it. Oh, not Future Sight. Not freaking Future Sight. Yeah, your Psybeam's not going to do a lot to Riddler. Now, does Future Sight still hit Dark Pokemon, or can Dark Pokemon dodge Future Sight? What was that? Wow, two Psychic Pokemon for the same guy. Future Sight, you can dodge with a Dark Pokemon, right? Uh, no, it will hit a dark, dark Pokemon. Really? Yep. Damn it, I just send out Hydra for nothing, then. Uh, Future Sight, I believe, stops if it's fainted. You just got warned about my crunch? Well, how about you feel some of the crunch? Oh, headbutt. Ow. That hurt I a little could bit. be wrong, though. Well, let's hope not, because we're going to lose Hydra if that thing hits. Took the future side. Doesn't affect Hydra. Ha! We dodged it. Hmm. I could have swore. Oh, he's got me poisoned, but that's fine. I can go get healed after this. Down you go, Hypno. Down you go. 
Nope, Zura's already up to 26. What level does Zura evolve at? Should be fairly low. I think it's like early 30s. Wait, I can't... Oh, because that, that path goes under. Okay, sure. It's 30 exact. 30 exactly. So we're getting close. So then we'll have a Zur arc, which will actually be more potent damage-wise. And because we gain an extra 50% bonus experience, we're going to level really quickly. Ah, future sight got changed this generation. Okay, cool. You need to have one of those nurses or something just sitting in the front of every gym. Just give me the run back every time. So we've had one guy with a lot of Psychic, one guy that actually had, or two guys that actually had a Ground-type Pokemon, one with a Regigigas, which surprisingly was not the thing that ended up killing us. Very interesting. Yeah, let me go down. I just love how the top floor of this gym is just, like, all fancy, and then you get down here, and it's like, yep, you're in a mine, we tricked you. <laughs> oh, so this must be a terrible gym, so you can't access the gym leader until you light up all the lights. Like, people would have to wait in line for the person in front of them to finish solving the puzzle, as many trips back and forth from the Pokemon Center as it takes. Well, what happens is if you fail the puzzle, you become one of the slaves. Ah, so that's how they keep the mind going. Oh my gosh, they really made this complicated. How much farther? Holy crap! Okay, well he's over there, so that's obvious. So it means we just need to light up the other bits. Okay. I kind of want to light up all the lights just for the sake of lighting them up anyway. Wait, this connects over to... Oh, okay. I'm not expecting that to actually connect over. Alright, let's get this right-hand side lit up first. Yeah, so I guess if you were actually playing this with the regular game it'd be dark and you wouldn't have you wouldn't be able to figure out you needed to go over top to get to the boss until you went through everything yeah i'm not gonna say how low when you say dig no you say dig i say earthquake and your pokemon dies oh no he's got a badoof it's chewy again It's a battle of the normal types, Chewie versus Ursa. Mostly because I'm pretty certain Chewie has some kind of bite or crunch attack, which would have wrecked Riddler. Yawn! Oh, I'm only going to get one attack in. Let's see if we can kill you in just one attack. Yes! Awesome. Looks like he just dug a grave. Oh yeah, puns are back. So terrible. Alright, let's go over here. Come on, any other trainers I, want, I can humiliate before taking over this town and this gym? There we are. I mean, the Pokemon are professional tunnelers. Pokemon can't be out dug and out or out burrowed. And once again, Earthquake. Ooh, a Caesar. Okay. Um. Well, that is steel. Um. So that is a job for Zuko, I guess. 
You know, Zuko's really the only one who can do anything to him. And Zuko will resist a lot of his attacks, so that'll help. Although that Metal Claw's gonna hurt! Ow, it's not very effective. Alright. Come on, Zuko, you're the only one who can kill this Caesar. Um, you're probably not gonna be fast. Caesar's pretty fast, isn't it? Lava Plume, come on. Okay, he did, he just used an agility. Which means he's already faster than me, that's not a really big deal. There we go, 4x effective, nicely done, Zuko. Whew, close one. Send in a clink. Ugh. I, I, don't, I can't heal R Zuko up, and Zuko can't take another hit, so we're gonna have to deal with somebody else to get the clink. Um, water Pokemon resist metal attacks. Clink does not have any electric, to my knowledge. Maybe he has electric. I don't know if he has electric. I think he's got a couple electric, maybe? Ugh. Okay. Um, Ursa's got a fighting type move. Riddler's hidden power is fighting type. Um, Psychic resists metal, I think. It's not super effective against it at any rate. Yeah, so let's go with Hidden Power, then. Metal resists Psychic. But Psychic isn't weak to metal. Yeah. So this Clink will be 1x. And our Hidden Power, which is Fighting type, will be doubly effective. Which, since its hidden power has a lot higher base power than uh, they have on Rock Smash. Yeah, that's the fight move I have. Okay, he hit me twice with Gear Grind, which is fine. We'll hidden power him again. We'll be out of the way. Boom. Nicely handled. They got a lot of metal Pokemon. Like, each one of these trainers has, like, their own specific type. I don't know what the randomizer is doing. Nope, Zuko's 28 already. Jeez. Think of all the walls we've broken down up until now to hit a wall like this. Admittedly, you did kind of have me on the ropes. Drillbur and Exildrill know the move Drill Run. Order me to use that move, I get wall end up. Well, um, sorry to tell you, but neither of your Pokemon are Excedrill or Drillbur. <laughs> Just thought you might be interested in knowing that. Alright, then down... Yeah, that one's clicked. Um, please don't be a trainer. Okay, good. And then we need to go up again. Now the question is, do his... Let's get Ursa in front real quick. Nope, not going to talk to you yet. Wait, if you're the gym leader... Who was the other guy? I swear this guy over here on this other platform was the gym leader, which is why I was avoiding him. Huh. Alright, I'll go heal, I'll take out the last lunk the last lackey, and we'll take out the gym leader. I'm totally lost in this gym. This is one of the most expansive gym puzzles they've ever made. I like it. Alright, away we go. Actually, did I talk to you? Trifle Gym, Elders provide for your use. Okay. Alright, there we go. All right, let's go crush the last minion, and then we'll take over the... We'll fight the gym leader, steal their last Pokemon, and take over the city. And hopefully they don't have a painful-to-catch Pokemon like the last gym leader did, where we just had to kill them without taking it. Stupid Snorlaxes. Jeez. Such a great Pokemon to catch, but totally worthless if you can't actually uh, 
manage to catch him before you die. Alright, so this way, and then up the... No, no, down and over on the pink elevator. I don't know why they decided to put the elevators colored pink when they go different directions, but okay. Must be some union rule. Okay, see, this is what I thought this guy was the boss, because he had, like, the pink platform on the bottom and then the blue area, so it looked like this was going to be where the gym leader would sit. Show you the power of the Bondsman Pokemon built that way. Okay. One Pokemon. Worker Maynard. It's a C-Dot. They really seem to like the Nuzlocks and C-Dots lately. Oh good, we can hit this with one return, and if we don't take any damage from it, we can actually just go straight to the gym later without actually caring. Yep. <laughs> That's just what we're going to go do. Sweat and tears go into this gym. Well, I'll add a little bit to your tears. Isn't darkness great? It's a space of dreams where you don't know what's even there. Yeah, um, you go watch a horror movie. I'm gonna go kick the gym leader's butt. Take over your entire city. And then help them pay the stupid power bill so they can light up the mine. <laughs> 